Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. Bloating seems to be the big problem today. Many people eating the wrong type of diets, mixing their foods incorrectly. Too much sodium, too much soda, and the list can go on. Although today I'm gonna show you something you're gonna love. You're going to get rid of your bloating in no time by you utilizing a specific technique with your own hands on your abdominal region. You're gonna see fast results. I am gonna share this technique with you on my own stomach so you can understand the correct anatomy and the right areas so you can do this as well. First, on the lower right side, on top of the crest of the ileum, this is where our ascending colon starts. From here on the right side, going upwards, right below that rib cage, you'll have the transverse colon going across, and then going on the left upper rib cage down to the crest of the pelvis. On the left side is our descending colon. And this is what we're going to focus with. Then I'm going to teach you some interesting acupressure points that's going to give you immediate results as well. Most importantly, everything we do is going to be in a clockwise fashion. That's the way we're going to stimulate mobility within the large intestines to make you more regular, as well as to reduce that bloating so you can feel much better. Take your second and third fingers of both hands right above the top of the right pelvis. You're going to do topotment, just like this. And you're going to trace it up the ascending colon, and right below the rib cage, start making your way across slowly. That is the transverse colon. And when we get to the left side, make your way down again to the top of the crest of the pelvis. That's our descending colon. You can come all the way across and start over again. And you're going to continue this for a good minute or so to stimulate that area, that topotment. And by doing this, you may start to feel gas being released, feel uh, changes going in there as we start to feel less pressure. And just do this for a good minute. And now let's take the same two fingers, start exactly where we started before on top of the left crest of the ileum. And we're going to push in and release on the same pathway going counterclockwise. Push in, release. Good. You don't have to push in too hard. You don't want to make it uncomfortable. And by doing this, we're stimulating the nerves within the intestinal area. This is going to send messages back to the brain to cause that peristalsis, which is that movement within the, within the intestines. And make your way down again. Okay, you can come across, start over here. As you're pushing in and letting it go, this is very, very effective in stimulating those intestines. That's what we want to do right now. And you're going to do this as you come down the descending colon, on the left side. You're going to do that for a minute. Now we're really going to stimulate the intestinal region. Just take two fingers of your right hand, since we're starting on the right side, top of the crest, like we did on the other ones. Take your two fingers, push in a little bit, maybe a half inch or so, and push it in and come up to the rib cage, just like this, little strokes, just like this, working the ascending colon. You're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Then you can take either fingers, whatever is more comfortable to go across. I like to use the other hand going across from right to left, just pushing in and going across the transverse colon. As we apply more pressure, now we get into the real stimulation. And you're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Then you could take either hand that's more comfortable and you're going to, I like to use my thumbs going down and push down from the transverse colon down the descending colon on the left side. Beautiful. And it feels quite nice. Now we're going to get into the meat of things. Let's take the four fingers of both hands. Come right in the middle between where the ribs meet and the belly button. And I want you just to take these fingers. 
however you like, whatever's comfortable. I like to cross them a little bit and just push in, push in a good inch or so. You'll feel a little pressure, not to where it's too painful and hold it in there. Just breathe in through your nose, breathe out of your mouth. Hold that pressure, breathe in through your nose, breathe out of your mouth. Give me a good five or six good deep breaths. As we're holding that pressure, you'll notice as you continue to breathe, it gets easier, less pressure, less pain. That your body starts to become softer as you hold it in there. And feel how much more relaxed you feel taking those deep breaths in through your nose, out of your mouth. Beautiful. You're doing great. Let's stimulate the entire intestine the ascending, transverse, and descending. Now you're going to see a lot of rumbling, a lot of changes. You may have a lot of gas. That's good. You want to get rid of it. Start on top of the crest of the, of the uh, pelvis. You can use however many fingers you like. I like to use still two and two. I'll come, put pressure above the, the crest of the pelvis, push in, get to the rib cage, come across, and go down. You can start over just like this and just keep doing this motion. You could go slow. You may want to put a little lotion if you want on your stomach to make it a little smoother and just keep following that clockwise pattern as you're applying pressure and they're really stimulating that area. And you're going to continue to do that for a good minute. And you're going to see some good changes and a great way to end off is to hit these master acupressure points. And there's four of them. The first one is gonna be right where the ribs meet up on the lower part of the sternum. That's your first landmark. The other one is your umbilicus, or your belly button, right in the middle. That's gonna be our first point. You could take two fingers and apply pressure in there. Do that for 30 seconds. As you hold that pressure, you're going to really stimulate the gastrointestinal system. You're going to affect the parasympathetic nervous system, the brain. There's a lot of different things going on, so you will experience those changes. After you hit this point, you'll come again in the clockwise fashion. Look at the umbilicus. You're gonna come two inches about off the umbilicus. You'll do the same thing. You'll hold that 30 seconds. That is another great master point. As you continue to hold that, you're gonna to continue to feel that rumbling. After 30 seconds, you're gonna come two inches below the umbilicus, okay? And push in. Get in there, push nice and firmly. Hold it there, a good 30 seconds. If it's painful, just come off a little bit, but hold that point, that's a great master point. And last, you're gonna come on the outside of the other side of the umbilicus with those two fingers, two inches. And you're going to press that same point as you did on the other side, for 30 seconds and continue to hold that point. This is like magic. Those master points around the belly button are very powerful. Make sure you hold each of them 30 seconds and go in a clockwise position. You can do that several times. It's very, very effective. Now here's a great tip for you. If you really wanna get rid of that bloating real quick, in addition to what you just did, Drink a full glass of water, a half a lemon, and a dash or two dashes of cayenne pepper. Now, many of you may be thinking, well, I'm bloaty. I don't want to drink all that water. Guess what? That lemon and water is a diuretic. The more of that you drink, the more your body is going to get rid of that extra bloating, that extra fluid. Watch your extra sodium that you're taking in every day. You may not be adding it to your food, but in frozen foods, as well as canned foods, there's a lot of hidden sodium. So you have a little job now, something you can do whenever you need to, but this is a miracle technique. You will get those fast results. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. I really want to hear them. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.